All right, hello everyone. Welcome and hello. This is a momentous and wonderful and significant occasion here in this video brought to you by Squarespace. I am thankful that someone pointed out to me on Twitter, thank you for that person, that this is the 1,000th video that I'm uploading on YouTube. So, hello. Congratulations to everyone for being here with me today. Uh, however, it is a little bit more nuanced than that because if I think back way to the beginning of this YouTube channel, there was there was a time when I uploaded other videos. Um, I, what I'm trying to say is I've uploaded more than a thousand videos. Just the, some of them got deleted and never re-uploaded because uh, when I first started doing this, I was just recording myself uh, drawing, and then I would speed it up, kind of like I do now, and then I would just put like a, a song I liked on top of it, which was inevitably a copyrighted song. And so all my videos then got copyright striked or, or whatever. The point is I realized that if I wanted to take it slightly more seriously, I couldn't have um, copyright claims on every single video I uploaded. Uh, and so at, at that point, I deleted every single video on my YouTube channel. I don't know how long ago this was. This might have been as much as 10 or 15 years ago. I've had this channel for a long time. But so then for like six months, I had zero, ch zero videos on this channel. As I thought about what to do, like should I start uploading again with copyright f free music. Um, unfortunately, a lot of copyright free music is not that great. Uh, for example, well, I don't want to make any examples. Uh, but and th I thought the other option is to just start talking. And back then when I w made my commentaries, I would I decided that I would do that. So I, would, I would just start talking. Back then when I made my commentaries, I would write it all out ahead of time uh, on the notepad app on the computer. I would write it all out. And eventually I stopped doing that after several years because I guess there, was <laughs> there were enough comments that said, it sounds like he has this all written out. And I had tried to, I was trying to write it out in a way that it sounded conversational but I guess it was still obvious that I was reading it. Uh, anyway, so that's kind of the little little journey that my YouTube channel has taken over the past 1,000 plus videos. Some of those early videos I did re-upload with either some copyright-free music or some talking over it, but most of them did not get re-uploaded, and they were they were kind of the same thing, just drawing on random stuff drawing, doodling, etc. Back then, I I didn't have any tripods or nice camcorders or anything. I think I just had a Sony Cybershot digital point-and-shoot camera, and I would just kind of perch it on top of some like textbooks pointing down at the paper and record and then speed it up. I don't know what... I think I had some like pirated software for, for a while after I got tired of using like Windows Movie Maker. I used like Sony Vegas or something. But not that much has changed. Other than that, I, s I still just sit here at home and record myself drawing and then speed it up and and talk. So any of you that have hung out with me here over the past years, I appreciate it. Thanks for being here. So I'll show you our sponsor doodle real quick. And then some. I'm, a, I'm going to attempt a circus act for celebratory reasons. Now, whether you've got something going on that you're just getting started on, or if it's something you've been doing for a long time, Squarespace is a great tool for getting your own website up and running. Honestly, I was surprised with how easy it was. I used Squarespace from the very beginning for my website, and I only chose Peter Draws because PeterDraws.com was available. Then I used Squarespace to just lay out the different pages of the website, like a little la home landing page, a page for selling some products, a little contact page, maybe a page with like a gallery of some drawings to look through. And you can kind of do the same thing depending on what you've got going on. Maybe something totally different. You can look at all the templates 
and there's so many options for whatever you're trying to do. So go check it out. Go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Peter Draws for 10% off your first website or domain. Now, here is me attempting to juggle some markers, which didn't go very well, because I thought these are the Posca pens I'm using in for to draw on these pieces of poster board. So then I switched to tennis balls, which was slightly easier, but I think if I just practice a little bit every day, I can get a little bit better. So hopefully in upcoming videos, I'll be able to show you some improvement. This is a pointless skill, which I'm looking forward to improving. I mean, what other reasons do I need? And like I said, I use the Posca pens here to draw on these poster boards, I guess you might call them, kind of thick pieces of paper. On one side, they're really smooth. On one side, they feel like normal kind of paper. I drew on the more papery side, even though, I don't know, I probably should have tried the smoother side, but it was almost too slick, and I thought maybe it, the markers might just slide around without putting any paint down. And I also tried a Molotov. Molotow? I don't know. It's like these, um, it's a like a graffiti and, and, and paint, paint product brand. They make like these dabber... I don't know if they're called markers. They're like kind of bottles with sponges on the end. I think, yeah. If you're if you're ever in the in the market for buying like graffiti uh, tools or street art tools, you know what I'm talking about. This brand, but basically, I like the opportunity here to use big varieties of nib size, like the huge chiseled nibs that are like one inch wide, and then also using smaller nibs that are like like 0 0.01 millimeters or something like that. Kind of mixing that all together, even some different colors from time to time. Just mixing it up a little bit. So also mixing it up with the paper size as well. Anyways, I hope you're all doing well. Here's to a thousand more videos. Um, you know, someone wondered if I was going to do something special for my thousandth video, but it's just a number, okay? 1,000, it's just another number, but and I don't want to treat it special because... I love this video like I love all my other videos. And then what if video number 942 or number 762 or 8 or 17 or 612 or 43 or what if one of those videos saw me treating video 1000 so nice and then they started to feel like I didn't love them as much. So it's a nice video. 1000 is a nice Big, round number. Round because of all the zeros, I guess. But, but thank you for a thousand videos, everyone. See you later. Goodbye.